So, I ended up having some trouble with my engine. Um, my throttle got stuck open, and uh, to prevent myself from crashing into someone, I had to push the clutch in, my engine rev to, you know, 8,000, whatever, and I broke some rings. So I've done a compression check, and I found that uh, cylinders 1 and 2 are low compression, and it drives terribly now, so I need to remove the engine so I can rebuild it and possibly turbo it. So I'll be documenting exactly how to remove the engine from the engine bay, all the steps needed. There's no particular order, there's some things you do have to do before the others, but um, by no means is this the only way. I just want to show you how involved it is. So I'll be removing my Toyota 4A GE 20 valve silver top. Uh, manual transmission um, from the from the car um, getting everything out so that I can work on it so let's go ahead and step number one is always disconnect your battery so whether your battery is in the trunk um, whereas my case I've done a battery reallocation so as you can see um, in place of where the battery should be all I have is a power distribution block so my battery is actually up in the front um, with some quick quick disconnect fuses, so it makes it nice and easy to disconnect the battery. So that's step number one, let's go do that now, and then we're going to move on to step number two. Alright, so we've disconnected the battery. Now step number two, um, you could either drain the coolant or take off the exhaust. Um, both things are going to have to happen. I prefer to take off the exhaust first. So we're going to jack up the car, um, have your garage deck ready to go, and your jack stands on both sides. We have one on each side here. And we'll be jacking up the car using the um, using the little protrusion there. I don't know if you can see it right here. This is the engine mount, the rear engine mount. And so we're gonna place our jack right there and we're gonna jack the car up, put it on the jack stands, and then get underneath and remove the entire exhaust system. Um, so be removing it from the um, exhaust manifold and then also there's a few bolts holding it to um, the engine. And then there's also some hangers. Um, so each side of the muffler will have a hanger and you have to remove that as well. So let's go ahead and jack it up and take off that exhaust. All right, so we're underneath the car, we can see um, the three nuts we need to, we're going to need to remove for the uh, downpipe to the exhaust manifold to remove that. And then um, the exhaust is connected to the engine block with this uh, bracket right here. There's a couple nuts we need to remove. And then um, the muffler itself has hangers on either end. We need to remove those and the whole thing will fall down. Um, so just be careful, it's quite heavy. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Now you can see why we need to do this so that when we drop the engine down, um, the exhaust is not in the way. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now and show you what it looks like. So we remove the nuts um, from the downpipe here. Um, three 14 millimeter nuts and as you can see now, I can pull that downpipe off the exhaust manifold uh, quite easily. And we've removed, there was one bolt and one nut here on the center bracket holding it to the engine block. Um, so this will slide out now as well. So when we pull this out, um, the downpipe um, and the flex pipe here are going to drop. And all that's going to be connecting the system now will be the hangers for the mufflers. For the muffler. Uh, there's one on each end of the muffler, so one here and one on the far end. And so everything will be hanging on that. Um, for the for regular car, the, the hangers, you can just pull them out um, and then it will drop and you don't have to remove the mounts here, so it's quite easy. Um, for mine, I had to repair my far hanger with some wire because this is the original exhaust, um, so it won't be so easy for me, um, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, keep in mind, I have removed this exhaust before. Um, so it is much easier to do the second time because all the rusted parts you've cleaned up. On um, the first time it's going to be super rusty, it's going to be super difficult. Um, spray that rust, rust uh, or WD-40, um, hit it with a, you know, a torch, impact gun, whatever you need to do just to get it nice and loose 
and then you can clean it up. Um, try and save your original exhaust if you can. Um, this is the, the OEM exhaust, 26 years old, still in pretty good shape. Um, but keep in mind that everything's going to be really rusty because, again, um, a lot of water vapor is coming out of the engine from combustion. Um, this thing gets hot and cold regularly and causes water condensation. This is going to rust. You just can't, um, you can't prevent that. So let's go ahead and remove the last little bit here and then show you what it looks like. And there we have it. The exhaust system from the Toyota MR2. So now I can explain a little bit better um, the connection points. Um, Hanger number one is on this side, um, and that goes to the, um, uh, the hanger mount, which I have removed, and it's by the wheel there. And then number two was actually broke off uh, on my exhaust, so I just needed to use some wire and just you know um, put some thick wire through the exhaust mount. Um, definitely not a permanent solution, but I'll be remaking my entire exhaust. I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, it's just too old and rusted up. Um, so you have your catalytic converter, you have your flex pipe. I had a hole in my flex pipe, so I just fixed it with some tape. Um, this is the bracket, which goes to the engine block. Um, so you have one nut, there's a bolt on the engine block where you can put a nut through, and then also you put a bolt through to go to, into the engine block. Um, oxygen sensor, that's a new oxygen sensor. And then your B pipe, and if you're going to be um, refurbishing your exhaust system, make sure you get um, new seal. So you see one is actually missing. It's on the uh, exhaust manifold that was left there when I pulled it off. But the other one came with the B pipe. So get new new seals if you um, refurbish or replace your exhaust system. Um, they're very inexpensive. You can get them from Toyota. And so that's how easy it is. Again, I've done this before, so this made it much easier. It took me about uh, 20 minutes. Um, but if this is the first time, um, these bolts, the, the, these nuts are going to be super rusted. These are going to be really hard to get. Um, everything's going to be rusty. It's going to be falling apart. Even now, um, after refurbishing it and only driving a couple, couple thousand kilometers, it's super rusty again. Um, so that's how you take it off and let's go to step number three now which will be draining the coolant let's get to it